Madam Jojes. My name is Miss Jones and I am your fairy godmother. I'd like to make all your dreams come true. Especially yours. Not so much yours. They look like they might be a little naughty. Not that that's a bad thing. But anyway. Who was here for the first instalment of Cabaret Roulette Apocalypse? We had more than three people, don't be shy. We'll try it again. Who was here for the first one? Come on. Thank you. That, that was you, wasn't it, Warren? Yes, it was. I can't see anything. The lights are right in my face, but I recognise his growl. We all do. I know. It sounds, that sounds worse than it actually was. But, um... This is round two, and let me explain a little bit for those of you who's here for the first time. This is not your usual show. No, don't worry, it's good. <laughs> but, um, and what it is, is we're going to vote, because this is the roulette concept, see the gamble. What you do is you vote on the theme, and then the performers selected have the two months to develop a whole new act. So everything that you see here tonight, I can guarantee you haven't seen before because everything is brand new. Oh, I know. Exciting, isn't it? But anyway, tonight, last time, they voted for fairy tales. So what makes a fairy tale? Is it the presence of a love story? Chance to be a fine thing. Is it a good villain? We all like a good baddie. Yeah. Or maybe a warning or a moral or something, you know, used to scare small children. <laughs> you know, like not to cry wolf like Peter. This, serve him right, this bastard if you got it, wouldn't it? <laughs> like my next door neighbours. But anyway. So we're going to take you on a journey. Are you ready? Yeah! Fantastic. Here, keep drinking and you'll get louder. I'll get funnier as well. <laughs> anyway, what I would like to do is start as we mean to go on. She deserves it for taking for starting our journey so fabulously. Try it again, you might get a better noise. What's no, you didn't. <laughs> it's like work on it for next time, okay? What's your name? Mark. Mark. Are you single? Yes. He's gay. He's gay. So, it's a secret, is it? It was. Don't worry, I don't think your mum's here. But, anyway, this would be a good time, because I say, she was absolutely fabulous, Josephine Shaker, but messy bitch, look at this. Coming out, sprinkling all this sand out, and it would be a good time to introduce you to the poor cow that's got to tidy it all up. This is Lola Brow, everybody. Ooh, back to Josephine Shaker and the Sandman who comes in the night and brings you your dreams. Or in the good old days, I think he came and stole away naughty children. But, I mean, let's face it, nowadays we'd probably have to take 99% of them. But, you know, it's, it's quite right that he's decided to not do that and leave them with the parents after all to let them cope with them. Because it's them that spoiled the little fuckers in the first place. No, it's not TV programmes. No, it's not computer games. It's you. Oh, come on, Dollar, thank you. Thanks for the clap. I Sorry. But, you know, my son is five, and I know it's like you wouldn't have expected, would you, that the all knowing fairy godmother made the mistake <laughs> of falling for some roguish cad that left her knocked up and unmarried. Mm. But, I'm not bitter. <laughs> I'm completely over it. I don't mind spending all bloody day floating around, granting people's wishes, ungrateful. I want to meet Miss, Pr Miss Prince Charming. You know, that's it, I'll grant your wishes. What about me? How long can I really carry off the glittery pink fairy look before people start saying mutton as I fly past? Huh? What are you clapping for? Is that time here already? <laughs> I mean, Ridna, why are you laughing? I see you already. Get out. <laughs> why are you single? <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Bye. 
Ugly Duckling. Hilarious and fabulous as she is. Vivi May, everybody. <laughs> Ugly Duckling. So, so what does that teach us? Well, I suppose it's true. Um, society does favour the pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I'm not surprised you don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let's say, for example, surveys have proven that men, when looking for, like, partners, looks do come a lot higher up the list than personality traits. And um, that like, begs the question, why do I find it so difficult? Because I might be an emotionally needy, psychotic bitch, but yes, I'm fucking gorgeous, right? <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. But, um, so what, what does it actually teach you? It's like, so if you're an ugly duckling, don't worry, you'll be an outcast for a bit. But when you grow older, you'll be pretty? No, you'll actually still be ugly, you'll just be old and ugly. I don't get it, really. But anyway, I don't get a lot, so, nowadays. <sighs> don't worry, I'm not sorting myself out. <laughs> Oh, that's better. <laughs> anyway. I've decided to give up being good. Because it's so much more fun being bad. Rules are made to be broken. And for example, smoking inside. And um, bringing your own booze and hiding it backstage. I didn't really. like, what's the one? Um, the little tin soldier where the two toys fall in love and then he ends up melting in the fire and she flies into the fire as well and just like any love story really, isn't it? <laughs> By the end you're fucked. <laughs> if it's a good night. <laughs> if it's not. And um, don't worry, you're not that pissed, and I'm not actually that stupid. I said duo, and there was three of them. But Gossamer Thread is the duo, and they brought along like their 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 sweeper, who is their good friend. Hey. I was like, ah! <laughs> but I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need a top up. <laughs> I'm running dry. Thanks to your thing. Too fucking expensive. <laughs> Sorry, no, I didn't. <laughs> anyway, that was Anna Lou. And um, rubbing bits of blubber on your bits, if that does it for you. <laughs> and that is when she explained to me, because I, I actually wait for all of the acts to tell me a little bit about what they're going to do. She sent me this email and I went, is that a real story? <laughs> the book is backstage. She bought it in and it is a real fairy tale. Do people tell that to their children? <laughs> I mean, I suppose there's no TV in an igloo, is there? But you know, we could come up with something better and we we worry about our youth, you know. But anyway, moving swiftly on. Adorable, it's all right. He's made a bit of mess, but we will forgive him because he's such a... Isn't he? Move. Move. 
someone's punching above her pay grade. Fight, fight, fight! Believe me, you're... Whether you paid in advance for £10 or on the door for 15 very reasonable, even if it was more expensive, I'd like to say. That wouldn't be enough for the, what we charge when we fight. <laughs> Would it, Bev? <laughs> is, it, is it full <laughs> of what? <laughs> but do you know what? From her, that's ninety percent proof anyway. So fuck it. <laughs> give as little as a dollar, and that is. It. It's really nice. We've had so many people support us, and I want to thank any of you that are here because I can't see anyone with these lights away. Thank you very much. We've had a lot of big, um, big names sponsor us, and I know that one of the um, one of the payday loan companies <laughs> donated ten dollars the other day. So with any luck, by the morning we'll have three hundred and fifty in the account. And um, so that's enough for the next show. Woo! And um, so anyway, I'd like to thank you all. I would like to thank our guardian of the gate, our gatekeeper this evening. Is that you over there? Well, a fantastic welcoming you all here. I would like to thank our fantastic sound man. Who is not our usual Andy, so I don't know what his name is because I'm an arrogant cow that didn't ask. I would like to thank our fantastic stage crew, the lovely Lolo Brow and her assistant, the wonderful Joe. Just in case you forgot what she looked like, and she will be back for Asylum. And I'm going to give you a run through from top to bottom. Thanks to the bar staff as well for not, for not watering down our booze too much for profit margins. I mean, I'm joking. Um, and I'm going to run through from top to bottom of our performance. I would like you to start applauding at the beginning and I do not want you to stop until I have finished what I've got to say. So please, the first, pe the first person that we had out on stage to open the show, we had Josephine Shaker. We had Vivi May. We had Biding the Valkyrie. The gorgeous Chantilly Lace. Then we followed by the duo, which was three, got him a thread! Anna Lou! Kitty Love Giles! And Miss Carol! Please, massive amounts of respect for the girl that puts it all together! 